My name's Martini, detective, troubleshooter, and a lousy sucker for hard luck stories. This wasn't my first circus, but this act was a three-ring special. Three murders, no leads, and a city on the brink of bedlam. The victims were as different as chalk and cheese, each a symbol of the city's vibrant veneer. A young dancer who moved like poetry in motion. Her life cut short mid-pirouette. The socialite, a woman who knew the city's pulse better than anyone else. And then there was the businessman, the embodiment of vaudeville's promises of progress, snuffed out like a candle in the wind. Huh. Oh. Tell me, have you heard any interesting gossip lately? I do love a good scandal. Uh, I heard bucket hats are going out of fashion. Well, my dear, it's a good thing fashion is in my cup of tea. Good answer. Trends come and go, but true style is timeless. Damn, Mrs. Potter. Besides, bucket like hats it. have never been quite my taste. Now, if you'll oh, excuse me, I must pick up a few items from Pascal's shop. You... Perhaps some retail <laughs> therapy will lift my spirits. Okay. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. There's a certain charm in melancholy, I... don't you think? I thought you were going. I shall revel in my own little drama. Wow. Tumblr 2009. How amusing. It seems my mood has transported us <laughs> back to the bygone era of Tumblr. Ah, uh, the nostalgia. Oh, the nostalgia, Mrs. Potter. Perhaps a little game of riddles would cheer me up. What has a heart that doesn't beat? A bean. Brilliant. It seems you've solved my riddle what? with ease. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper! Take your time, my clever friend. I'm, I'm sorry, I got ever excited. I do and enjoy this is... playful banter amidst the dreariness of life. I'm fucking, she's the Riddler. I, it's a newspaper. Um, I'm gonna go talk to the other guy. <laughs> Farewell. Not what I said. Filled with intrigue and excitement. Hi, Pascal. I'm gonna go. I was a guy. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> no, not again. Oh no. Oh, speaking of, did you hear about the scandalous affair between what? Miss S. Higgins and Mr. Winters? I don't... Quite the talk of the town, let me tell you. I don't... But don't okay. worry, your secret is safe with me. My secret? Now, back to those delicious apples. What? Well, hello there. Hello? Say, have you heard the latest rumor about Lady Montgomery's <laughs> mysterious new lover? Tell me about those apples, man. Ah, uh, the apples. Let me just say, my friend, these are not your ordinary apples. They're like little bursts of sunshine in every bite. Sick. Crisp, sweet, and absolutely divine. You won't find better ones anywhere in town, mark my words. But hey, have you heard about the supposed treasure hidden in the old mansion on Oak Street? Ooh. They say, it's guarded by a ghost. Cool. What would you do if you came into all that money, Pascal? If I stumbled upon a hidden treasure like that, my friend, let me tell you, I'd be the talk of the town. Oh yeah, you would. I'd throw the most extravagant parties, yeah. buy the finest ingredients for my shop, yeah. and maybe even open a little jazz club on the side. Hell yeah! The possibilities are endless. Now, let me show you these exquisite mushrooms <laughs> I just got in. How can I assist you today? Is anyone new dead? <laughs> Indeed. The cycle of life and death continues unabated. Just yesterday, I performed an autopsy on a poor soul named Haley Greenwood. Okay. A tragic case, I must say. Blunt force trauma to the head, likely inflicted by a stiletto shoe. Damn. It can provide a glimpse into the human condition, revealing the complexities and frailties that lie within us all. Uh-huh. Oh, that's it. She's not going to tell me the... Okay. Um, so... Oh. Uh... So, I was just thinking out loud. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, my observant detective companion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the body an oh. Embrace the wanderings of your mind for the whole. Hello, Chief. Nope. <laughs> Jace, who's Jace? My name is Chief Graysky. What can I do for you? Sorry, I got well, confused. Well, what do you want then? Spit it out. Oh my God, this is this is not going well. <laughs> Vision, what are you talking about? I don't know anything about that. Oh. We're here at the police station, dealing with real life problems. Oh god, the chief so, already hates what's me, on your mind? I'm an idiot. Can you tell me about the murders, please? Thank you. No! Losses, the murders! Huh? Well, I deal with losses every day oh, in this god. kind of work. Is there a particular type of loss you're referring to? The murders! 
All right, then. No. If you don't have any specific kind of loss in mind, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. Please tell me about the murders. The murders. The mud has. No! Mud is. Why? I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar Why? with what you're referring to. Could you the provide <laughs> some more context or clarify your question? Please tell me about the murders. Yeah, Fuck, the murders. that works, of course. Yes, it's a grim situation we're dealing with. Three people have been brutally murdered in Vaudeville recently. Maria Jansen, Nicole Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. Okay. Oh, I see. So, according to the coroner, you're saying that there is a new piece no, of information <laughs> regarding a certain Mr. Greenwood being killed with a stiletto heel. But let's keep the gossip to a minimum, shall oh, we? Getting told off. Okay, sorry. I'll go investigate now. Bye. Investigate. Investigate what exactly? Is there something specific you're looking into? If yeah, it's the related murders. to the murders, I suggest speaking with the coroner or our detectives to gather more evidence and leads. Hi. Oh, um, hello there. Well, you know what they say, a penny for your thoughts? Yeah, that's what they say. So, uh, what's on your mind, detective? Your hat is just too big. I suppose, if it bothers you, I could try <laughs> on a smaller one. Maybe a cap. Or a bonnet. What do you think? I think you'd suit a bucket hat. Ah, uh, well, you may be onto something there, detective. You've got the eye of a hawk, the wisdom of an owl, and the ump, the creativity of a, a, a monkey playing the piano. Yes, that's it. A bucket hat, you say. It's like a whole new world has opened up before me. A world where fashion meets practicality, <laughs> where style and function dance hand in hand. Anyway, do you know anything about these murders? Um, well, you see, detective, I'm just a humble assistant, a small fish in a big pond. But, uh, I might have a theory. Or two, you see, there's a saying that goes, when the moon is full and the stars align. Darkness lurks in the shadows. It's like a storm brewing on the horizon. Or oh my god. Or a spider weaving its intricate web. These emergencies, they're like ripples in a pond, spreading out and touching everyone in their path. But, uh, well, I really know. What did- just tell me what you know about the murders. The murders. Uh, right, the murders. I have to say murders in an Dark American accent. In <laughs> It's like a puzzle, you know? Uh-huh. A jigsaw with misses. Oh my god, We're please, the metaphors. The truth, like a needle in a haystack. You are useless to me, Constable Jones. Oh, goodness gracious. I, I apologize if I've disappointed you, detective. Just stop speaking in metaphors, man. I gotta go. Well, I don't know. I read a book the other week. Oh, no. There were these creatures. Oh, bloody they hell. They said, love is like a rose, delicate and beautiful, but it can also prick and leave scars. I... I'm but a simple gardener tending to the flowers, watching what? from afar. That's not what like I... Like a bird on a wire, or a fish in a pond. Oh, my God. But if there's Jones. anything I can do to assist, to nurture this budding romance... No! Well, you know where to find me. I don't need your help with my love life, Jones. Air, I apologize if I've overstepped, detective. This is the worst police like station ever. Oh, I should have probably have written down all their names. Oh, shit. Yes. It's always helpful to keep a record of the names involved in an investigation. Okay, let me just make some notes. Yeah, the diligent scribbling of a detective's pen. Notes, the ink-stained pathway to clarity. Oh my god, Capable, literally shut the fuck feet. up. <laughs> Actually, yeah, shut up. with its limitations. It's oh, can betray please. Us in I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do an investigation, <laughs> please. Detective. I just said an investigation. Are like intricate <laughs> surgeries. Tell me who the three murder victims are. Yeah, the three unfortunate souls who have met oh, their untimely fuck. demise oh, thank in God, Godville. Okay. We're gonna get somewhere. Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. Do you ever get to keep the skulls? Coroner? I guess I'll ask by text. Do you ever get to keep the skulls? She's shut down on me. She's... she's fully... powered down. Oh! Bonjour, monsieur! Yeah, bonjour. I like your hat. Merci. Well, good talk, man. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be off. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs> that was the most blissfully brief conversation I've had so far in Vaudeville. Now, tell me, what are you most looking forward to in my performance? Is it the dancing, the storytelling, or perhaps the element of surprise? 
Uh, I'm all about the stocking suspenders. Ah, stuck in suspenders, a classic <laughs> and enticing detail burlesque. She doesn't mind. Uh, do you, do you know the murdered people? The mud people. No. I'm afraid I'm not familiar no, with them. No, not the mud people, Is that Marina. some sort of... No, <laughs> no, Marina, not mud people. Murdered people. Murdered people. My, that's a rather grim topic to discuss in such a lively setting. But I must admit, I'm curious. Who are these murdered individuals you speak of? Well, Haley Greenwood, Maria Jansen, and Nicola Grossman have been murdered. Haley Greenwood, Maria Jansen, and Nicola Grossman? How tragic. It's disheartening to hear about lives lost in such a senseless manner. Sorry for bringing that up before but you show. forgive showed. me for my ignorance. I'm not familiar with the details surrounding their murders. Could you please share with me where these incidents took place? Shit, that's a good point. I don't actually know. Ah, uh, I see. Well, in that case, perhaps we can discuss it further after your investigation uncovers more information than- Damn, Marina's like more on the Girl, ball than anyone at the court. police station. Hi, Chief Gretzky. Well, what do you want? Okay. Spit it out. Do you know where the murders took place? The autopsy report. Yeah, yes, it should be ready by now. That's not what I said. You can find the coroner at the morgue. Why? What's so important about the murder locations? What's so important about- You're the chief of police! What do you mean what's- I need to know where they died! Of course, I know where they died. Then tell Maria me! Maria Jansen was found Thank outside you. her apartment Fucking in hell. central vaudeville. Shop. Scales, what do you mean by that? That's not- Are you referring to some kind of evidence or clue related to the murders? No, I'm- no, I'm sorry. Do you think there's something significant about that location? Jesus, this guy's a fucking idiot. I understand your frustration, detective, but right. we must keep a level yeah, head and sorry. think this through. Do you know who found the bodies? Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley. Green I know who the, the bodies are, I want to know who found these. them. But why are you asking about who found the bodies? What do you mean, why? Does You're the worst pe the chief case? of police ever. Just tell me who found the bodies. Um, alright, if you must know, it was Thank a passerby who discovered Maria Jansen's oh. body. A shopkeeper who stumbled upon Nicola Grossman. And a fellow dancer who came across Haley Greenwood's body. Is there a reason why you're interested in who discovered them? Because they might know something. I need to interview them. By the way, did you hear the latest rumor? Oh, fucking hell, what now? Well, word on the street is that there's a secret romance blooming between Countess von Himmel and the mysterious mass musician from the cafe. Can you believe it? Anyway, I hear you discovered a body the other day? Oh, yes. It was quite a shock, I must say. Yeah, I bet. Poor Maria Jensen, found right outside my shop. Can oh. you imagine? Such a tragedy. I thought- But you know- I heard she had some secrets of her own. I thought Nicola was found outside your shop. Ah, uh, yes. The unfortunate incident with dear old Nicola Grossman. Found just a stone's throw away from my store. It's a small world, isn't it? But you know, I've been hearing whispers about some shady business deals he was involved in. Ooh. Quite the scandal, I tell you. You love gossip, don't you, Pascal? Why? Thank you. Did you hear about Mrs. Potter and Count Grevesen? I'd rather hear about Nicola Grossman's dodgy deals. Algae deals, you say? Well, let me tell you. There are whispers that Nicola Grossman was involved scene. in some shady business with the underground art scene. Rumor has it that he was smuggling rare paintings and sculptures, selling them to the highest bidder. Ooh. Quite the scandalous affair, if you ask me. Where did you find out about Grossman's shady business? You know, I have my sources, my friend. Yeah. Have you heard about the mysterious manticore hiding in the basement of the old theater? Manticore? No, that's a tale worth telling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Manticore? Can you imagine? What? I've never seen it myself, <sighs> but who knows fuck? what Mr. Uh, good day, Count Graveson. Good day to you as well. How may I, I assist to you today? Uh, you look, you look well. Why, thank you. I do try to take care of myself. I heard there's a manticore in your basement? Ah, uh, the basement, you say? Well, my dear friend, let me assure you that there are no dull colors in my basement. It's a treasure trove of fascinating artifacts and curiosities from all corners of the world. Uh -huh. But pray tell, what color specifically piqued your interest? Green. Oh, the color green, you say. <laughs> How delightful. The vibrant hue of nature, the lush forests, and the rolling meadows. Yeah, man. It brings such a sense of vitality and tranquility, wouldn't you agree? I would agree. But I must confess, my friend, I don't recall any particularly striking shade of green in my collection. I heard there's a manticore. 
a manticore, you say? My, my, that's a fascinating creature indeed. But tell me, how did you come across this information? Can I see your basement? My dear friend, I must admit that the basement is a bit of a private oh. sanctuary for me. I just heard you're a man of good taste. Well, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, but As a collector up. of rare items and precious artifacts, it's true that I take great pride in curating pieces. Do you happen to collect art? Oh, indeed, I collect all sorts of things. <laughs> From ancient relics <laughs> to so peculiar oddities, for a second, I have an ins- Oh, Detective Martini, I'm so glad you're here. I've been wanting to talk to someone about Haley's murder. Brilliant. It's been weighing on my mind so much lately. Fantastic. I just can't believe she's gone. Did you find Haley's body? Oh, no. I didn't find your body. Oh. I was actually out of town when it happened. Oh. Do you know if she was having any troubles? Troubles? Well, I mean, we all have our ups and downs, but... Yeah, we don't all end up murdered by Haley, stiletto. she was always so positive and full of life. Do you know if she had any enemies? It was a beautiful moment, and I'll cherish it forever. Aww. But now, knowing that she's gone, it feels bittersweet. Oh my god. I wish I could go back to that night and hold on to it a little longer. Ingrid, you're the only normal person in town. I love you. Hi, Mr. Saxabar. Thank you. That's definitely not what I said. <laughs> How may I assist you today? Do you know anything about the murders, what happened? No, I don't. Do you know anything about Nicola Grossman? I know nothing about Nicola Grossman. Do you know anything about Maria Jansen? No, I don't. Do you know anything about Haley Greenwood? No, I don't. Do you know anything about anything? No, I don't. Then what do you do, man? Why are you here? I am here because I am the greatest lion tamer in the world. What? 